almost minus 10 today outside windy and snowy after recent snowfalls i don't know what kind of roads awaits us uh, today but i hope so we can see how working Ukrainian artillerymen in Avdeevka direction. The main roads in the region have been cleared, but the roads used by defenders to get to their positions are covered with snow. In the field, there is up to half a meter of snow. Not only Havasar, but also ammunition for it needs to be delivered to the firing positions. Supply of ammunition is the number one target for Russians. Yes, what can we do? Were you ever under fire? Well, not here, but it happened when we were in Mikhoyev. Everything is visible, so there is no escape from it. But we are holding on. Servicemen keep their camouflage on the equipment to avoid revealing their location. They say this is ideal weather for enemy drones. The equipment at the artillerymen's disposal is old, but it does its job well in this area. There are also hammers and whatever else you want, but this is for missile troops. And here, if this one works and everything is fine, you can fire with it very hard. Everything here is low, everything is convenient, just fire it. Putin's army is actively attacking in this direction on a daily basis. Both manpower and equipment are constantly used. Before the assaults, the Russian occupants always carry out artillery bombardments. It's flying. Sometimes it hits hard, but we're alive. It's okay. Soldiers carry out their combat missions at the distance of at least three kilometers from the enemy. Two. Two is very close. You can't go to them because they've got the Sonsepeok. They've got the Buratina heavy flame thrower systems. It hits in around five kilometers, roughly speaking, maybe even six kilometers. So it hits very hard. Artillery work is not only aided by recognizance in the air, but there is also scouts on the ground. They usually work as close as possible to the enemy positions, and the coordinates of the Russian equipment are recorded by gunfire. We have special equipment that calculates the outputs of Russian artillery. We use these devices to calculate the coordinates and direct our artillery there to help the infantry. The Ukrainian town of Avdiivka, which the Russians plan to seize before 2024, is being held not only thanks to equipment, but also to the combat training of Ukrainian servicemen. However, the defenders admit that they need more ammunition. Our direction is Avdiivka. We are holding the enemy here thanks to Bradley's and other weapons like that. We have the most motivated brigade here. We went through a lot, but now in Avdiivka we stand strong. Many even praise us. Active hostilities at the Avdiivka bridgehead have been going on here for about three months now. Over the past 10 days, the Russians have carried out more than 150 airstrikes on this section of the front. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, Evgen Karmazin, UATV News.